Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and this is Danielle's Reading Corner. And today, can you believe it? October is almost over. So that means it's time for a wrap up. Now I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I am a mood reader and so that's why I typically don't post TBR videos. But if that's something you guys are interested in watching and want to see, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, this I believe is my first wrap up video and I'm not going to promise wrap up videos every single month because it kind of depends how like, my, my month goes and stuff. And I'm also part of a Facebook a book club group, which I will drop description box below if you guys are interested. Having to get started with the first book that I read to the last book that I've read. The first book was The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. This one you are following a teacher and I believe she's a student. I'm not for sure. I've read like tons of books after this one and basically um, they meet up. They end up talking. I believe there was some like not really hate, but, and then it's kind of grew from there. If I remember right, I rated it four stars, but I don't really remember much. So maybe it wasn't that memorable. Um, the next book was Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Now this one, they were two friends and they met every summer. It was like a summer vacation thing. And I believe it was a second chance romance summer. And I believe the brother reached out to her to let them know of something that had happened. And that one I rated five out of five stars. The next one is The One by John Mars. I rated it two stars. I guess I think it's, I only rated it two stars because I think I went into it with too high of expectations. Um, if you heard of like the soulmate equation by Christina Lauren, I thought I would like the one by Johns Mars because you're following like this DNA experiment to figure out your soulmate or like the person that you're like meant to be with and what have you. I mean, I really did enjoy the concept. I just wish the book would have been shorter, I guess. The next book was Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. You are following Lily and Leo, I believe the names are. And her dad leaves a note for her to figure out some stuff. And they have to go on this adventure to find like this gold. Um, at the beginning of the trip, Leo comes on this trip and he meets or he recognizes Lily and wants to get to reconnect with her and get to know her again. And Lily goes mm -hmm, and draws that strict line in the sand and says, nope, she's strictly business and she's here to do the adventure of the finding the gold. Um, there's some people that try to get her off of the beaten path and just try to challenge her along the way. But in the end, you'll have to read it. Four out of five stars. The next book I read was Cleaning the Gold. It was a Jack Reacher, um, Will Trent book. And it was like right in the middle of the series. So I had no idea what the heck was going on. I mean, I rated it two stars, but I'm definitely gonna have to go back and rethink about those ratings because I just read it like a couple days ago and I couldn't tell you what it was about like it made no sense to me at all and it was only like 100 pages so I didn't want to DNF it because I was like well it's only 100 pages and then the next book was Confess by Colleen Hoover um this is about a girl who gets pregnant at a young age the father of the child dies that's like within the first like chapter or so 
And then she's just faced with some challenges. She does meet somebody and she really likes him and wants to go further with him, but other people don't want her to be happy and they keep throwing stuff in her face. Before you read this one, make sure you look at the trigger warnings because um, there's loss, there's domestic abuse. If that is a trigger for you, do not pick up this book um, because that scene was very vivid. Um, but other than that, I rated it five out of five stars and I thought it was a very well-rounded, real feeling book. And the book is so how it would happen in real life. Like they didn't sugarcoat like anything. And I just really enjoyed it. The next book is Hidden Pictures by Jason Rakulik. I am pronouncing that name so wrong, but I apologize. It is following a girl who is recovering, um, drug addict, looking for a job, trying to better herself. Um, she becomes a nanny or like a babysitter type thing of this child. And things start to happen within this house. And she's trying to figure out what happened and what's going on. And she's trying to tell one person that she like trusts what's going on without um, them not believing her and stuff. And things happen. And then one night she's staying at her cabin, I guess, of these, of the parents of this little person. And something happens at the cabin and she's like, okay, now the thing is like, follow me to my cabin. Like, it's not just happening at this one house. It's happening at the other house too. And she's like, what in the world is going on? Well, things just kind of spiral and keep going on. And then the ending is just like, and I rated it four out of five stars. I do not want to say too much and give too much away. Um, it was a very good read. I also mentioned it in my top 10 thriller video as well. I will link that one down below as well. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you want to see from me and have a wonderful day. Bye. See you in the next one.